Hello, hello. Hello, Cindy. Good, good night. Good evening. Good evening, Dana. Good evening, Cindy. Welcome to class. If you guys can hear me. Hello, hello. Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. I can hear you. Good evening. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome to class. Mario, bienvenido. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am doing, you know, I am doing okay. I My throat feels kind of weird. I, I'm not going to say that I'm going to get sick, but, but you know, I, I think the, the air conditioning at work is making me feel a little bit sick. And I think that's what it is. The change okay. in temperature. So I'm feeling okay, Mario. How about yourself? How are you feeling? Well, to, to be sincerely, I'm very tired right now. Oh I my a, goodness. I have a long day in a work at work because I start to work at like uh, 8 a.m. and I finish like at 7 p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty long day. That's a pretty long day, yeah. sir. All right. Well, we'll get, you know, get your rest. Gracias a Dios tengo una voz angelical que te va a ayudar a relajarte, Mario. <laughs> that that was <will> great. <laughs> I was ready. Um, I, I'm sorry about my shirts and the background. I'm having a little bit of problems because of the, the blue shirts. Um, I used to wear just black shirts, and then I started um, I, I started going to work in the morning. So now I have to wear these shirts. And so when I get home, I you know I I barely have enough time to have like a little bit of dinner, and then we get on the class and so i'm sorry about the shirt look at it's, it's going all crazy uh, i promise to wear solid colors so that it's not distracting for everybody or is it just me do you guys see the the video how it's a little bit it's a little bit off or is it just me on my screen that i can see it can everybody see it no solo soy yo el teacher solo él lo ve all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, Karen Guille. Hello, good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you guys good hear? Teacher. Good evening. Can you guys see and hear me okay? Yes, uh, yes, I can. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wait a, maybe like two more minutes. See if anybody else joins. Please remember that the admins, um, well, the admins have requested for cameras to be on. So if you can, please turn your cameras on. If if by turning your cameras, uh, it prevents you from being in the class, then don't do it, right? I would rather you be in class with just the audio than to lose you and not be able to see you, you know, hear from you in class. So, um, so just as a heads up, Okay, I'm gonna put it over here too. Okay, I'm gonna put cameras on if possible. If possible. All right. Paco, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening. classmate. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Wednesday, beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. In English, they call it hump day because it's right in the middle of the week and they compare it to a camel. You know how the camel has, you know, they, it has the hump right in the middle. It, it, it looks kind of weird, but that's what they say. So happy hump day, everybody. Para nosotros es nuestro jueves de amigos. Porque, por favor, recuerden que nosotros vamos de lunes a jueves. So Thursday is our Friday. And then, you know, we have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off from class. So Monday through Thursday, that would make today our Jueves de Amigo, right? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we're going to get started. And let me go ahead and share my screen. 
And let me begin by asking, that's what happened, okay. Let me, behave, let me begin by asking you guys, how has it been going with the platform? How are you guys doing with the platform? Did you guys manage to advance a little bit on section one? Who has made it to 1.6, section 1.6? Raise your hand or put a little hand or thumb or anything or alguna mueca, something, something. No, no, no. going once, going twice, no. Ah, Paco, Paco, there we go, Paco. Uh, <laughs> Has anyone? Hi, good evening. Hola, Maria. Good Hola, evening, good evening. Bien, 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 bien. Gracias a Dios. Welcome Hola. aboard. Welcome to class. Thank estábamos, you. Estábamos, estábamos preguntando acerca de los módulos y las secciones. Has anybody started? Has anybody advanced? Well, besides Paco, right? Has anybody covered? Section one completely and finished it so far. Yo inicié ahora con la sección uno vi el video. Okay, okay, good. Okay, great. Well, that's 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 good. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off and we want to work. Uh, well, these these you know usually what I do is I provide like presentations and we get to read. But uh, we're going to change it up. I told you guys at the beginning of the week that we were going to change it up to, to include a little bit more practice. And so what I've noticed uh, from my peers is that they have been able to work from the platform. And then from the platform, we have been, they have been able to get you know, the exercises going. So what I am going to do, I am going to emulate. I am going to copy what they do and um, you know it, it looks like it, it re was really working out for them and then a little bit once we get a little bit more into the modules I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back the presentations um, and then that way we can do like half and half half presentations and then half uh, the conversation and the practice so so keep an, keep an eye out and an ear out for that. All right, so we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start off with the platform, see how we're doing. Um, actually, me, myself personally, I think I've been doing okay because I have been able to do a couple of these exercises and I know that because I have the chequecitos. You guys remember the little check marks? In Spanish, people call them, well, uh, some people say chequecito, but it's actually not correct. I heard somebody, um, we actually, the correct way would be la palomita. And I know, I know, I know it sounds weird, right? Ah, la palomita. Um, some people say palomita, some people say chequecito, right? In English, it's just a check mark. Uh, there's you know, people say either check mark or the check, right? Um, and so, as you guys can see, I have a few of those already on here, right? And I'm going to go back all the way to lesson number one. This is something that we already have gone over. We already reviewed, which was the passive voice. Can you guys remember what the passive voice did? Just real quickly, like, like, do you guys remember how it works? What does it do? Or what can we compare it to? We had two items, right? We have two types of voices. Who can remember the other type of voice? Active voice. There we go, active. All right, I'm gonna put it over there and pass this. Okay, and so what did the active voice do? What does it do on a phrase? What is it, what is the job that it performs, the active, when you use the active voice? What does it create? Como si um, explica lo que hace el, el... All right. Well, you know what? I'll accept that, Cindy. I will accept that. And so 
what it does is it takes the subject, right? And it gives it a level of importance. There we go. And then we used a, a specific example, right? Do you guys remember the example that we used? The first one that we that we practiced? It's a little animal. It was a little animal that went from flower to flower. Bee, the bee. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Bees. Okay. Right. So whenever we were using the active voice, we started off with the subject being the bee. Bees make honey. But the important portion of that phrase was the bee. Ese era el enfoque. That was the focus point because that's the way we made it sound. Now, when we switched it around to the passive, what became the most important point? Do you guys remember? It wasn't the bees anymore. You guys, it's so delicious. Mm, you can eat it. It's so fantastically delicious. The honey. There we go. Right? And then we changed it over a little bit because then it became the honey was made by bees. And so the focus point of the phrase became the honey. All right. So this is the video that starts it off, right? And so you guys, what we do, we start off with the video and we're not gonna listen to this one, right? And this one talks about passive, but it also talks about using the word by. Honey is made by bees. There was another example, which was the anthill. An anthill is made by ants, right? And, and so those were the examples that we used yesterday. And those were the examples of using your passive voice. Passive voice in conjunction with by, all right? So that's where we left off. And then so from here, if you guys were able to complete it, it also asks you to put something in the discussion. Did any of you guys manage to put anything in the discussion section? If you did, it's okay. If you didn't, it's it's all also okay. No worries. If you haven't done it yet, remember that you are welcome to do it, right? So then you click next, and then we get to the knowledge check. All right, here we go. So for for the for you guys that haven't done the knowledge check, and for the people that did already complete the knowledge check, let's let's work these out. So here we start off in the instructions. Do you know who created these popular works? Now, what we have to do is we match the phrases with the appropriate information. ¿Saben quién creó estas piezas? Escoge, escoja las frases con la información correcta. A ver, y comenzamos. Está The Kiss y están las opciones que nos dan. The Kiss was composed by George Bizet, was painted by Gustav Klimt, was written by Jane Austen, was directed by Steven Spielberg, or was recorded by The Beatles. By you guys Gustav ever? Klimt. Gustav Klimt? Yes. The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for that. The song, Yesterday. The song yesterday. Yesterday. Was recorded by the, the Beatles. By the yesterday. Beatles? Really? Which one is that one? ¿Quién, quién se la sabe? Yesterday. Yesterday. Only. <laughs> All my troubles seem oh, so far the... away. Mario, okay. thank you very much. There you go. You got it. I heard a couple of you guys. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Now I know it. Now I know it. All right. I didn't know it was called yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The film Schindler's List. The film Schindler, Schindler's List. La lista de Schindler. Schindler. It was directed by uh, Steven Spielberg. 
was directed by Steven Spielberg. That sounds, that sounds legit. <laughs> okay, the novel, Pride and Prejudice. Yes, it's Austin. Is that Jane Austen? Okay. And the Jane opera, Austin, yes. Carmen. Who was the, who was? George Visit. Yours. Visit. George. And, and I think you can either pronounce it Visit or you can say Bizet, but I don't see a little exclamation. So we might have to look these up. Oh my goodness. I'm, you know, this is so culturally eye opening. There's some of this stuff here that I have not seen yet. So I'm going to have to Google it. Uh, all right, so here we go, guys. Here we go. We're closing our eyes. How do you guys feel about these answers? ¿Cómo se sienten? Do you guys feel confident? Are you guys having doubts? Or do you know for sure that everything is right? Everything is right. Everything is right. Okay, let's see. A ver, démosle. And oh, there you go, guys. Now let's check at 100%. All right. I'm going to take a screenshot of that and I'm going to put it as work that we have completed in our uh, WhatsApp group. Hey, by the way, um, somebody posted a question about not being able to go into the website. Is, was that was that here with with our class? Has everybody been able to access our web page? No, I couldn't. You you couldn't do it, Glenda. What? No, I couldn't enter. Okay, okay. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you please? Yes. Can you please yes. send me a message in WhatsApp, and I will get in okay. touch with IT. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, Glenda, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, knowledge check. We got the screenshot and I'll be posting it on WhatsApp just as an FYI, all right? We're gonna go with next. Lesson objective 1.3. The students at the end of this class will notice the different ways the letter O is pronounced. Now, this one is a little bit different. This one was a little bit different. If you guys have already completed this one, uh, I'm gonna mute it. Actually, you know what? I think we can hear it. I'm gonna put it on and, and you guys tell me if you guys can hear it, okay? In your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter- Were you guys able to hear it? Sir. Yes. Y yes? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you guys and then we're gonna discuss it right quick, okay? And then I'm gonna pause it along the way so that we can practice a little bit. So let me go ahead and play that for you guys. Oh, it's pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit lar a little bit bigger for us. Let's see how we can get it. Here we go. Okay. So the letter is still the same one. Do you guys remember the vocabulary exercise and how there's the letter O and there's so many words? Now, even though you have the O, it changes sounds depending on what word you are saying. And so the exercise here is for us to kind of sound it out and voice it out. And then, so they give you words that will help you with that. For example, we start off with not and top. Repeat after me and you can leave your mutes on or you can remove the mute however you like. It's really up to you and just try to repeat. Here we go, not, 
Not. And top. 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 There we go. No. 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 Don't. 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 Okay. Do. 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 Food. 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 One. 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 Love. 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 All right. So it's still the same O. However, it changes how you are sounding it out. Now, it is important because what you don't want to do, right? You don't want to say do here. You want to make sure you guys say do. Do not, right? Or do hast. No, no, no. Ese es alemán. Ay, perdón, perdón. Es que como me confundo con tantas, le con tantas lenguas. Bam. All right. So let's do it one more time. Let's go. Let's start from this side. Not. 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 Top. 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 Okay. And we used it, right? We just use these words in an actual sentence. We we could say a little phrase, do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. And in, in that particular phrase, you have two O's, but one of them sounds like a U, and then the other one sounds like an actual just flat O, right? So you go from do not, and you do not, or on top. And you can use it that way, right? Not top. No. 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 Don't. 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 All right. And I know you guys are probably saying, where is the you in that? Well, can you guys hear the don't? It sounds like you guys are saying don't. And that's yeah. the way it's supposed to sound. That's the way it's supposed to voice out. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. do. Food. Do. Food. Now, food. If, if you are talking food. slow, it's okay if you guys say food. It's totally okay. If you guys are talking at a fast pace, then it would sound a little bit different. It would say food. Como que si es el jamón food? So it's, it's a lot shorter, it's a lot quicker, y, y se escucha un poquito más la U. So then it sounds like you're saying food. Hey, pasame el jamón food, por favor, pasame el jamón food. So think of it like that when you guys are talking about food. Then you can say it slow, food, or you can say it fast, food. And it, it's, it will still sound okay. We go to one, and we go to love. One love. 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 love, 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 there we go, love. love. Once again, love, you can love. say it long and slow, or you can say it quick, love. Love. One, one love. love, two love. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love, I love you. you. I love I you, love. right? I love you. I love you. Who do you love? I only love one. And then you can say it that way. I only love one. And you can say it in both and it sounds exactly the same. One love. Love one. One. One love. All right. How are we doing? How are we doing with the letter O? You guys feel okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. We're going to go back here. Let me go ahead and play this one. Let me go ahead and finish the play button on here. One. Love. One, love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Here we go. A little bit more practice for us. Follow me, pronounce after me. Once again, if you guys want to leave your mic off, that's okay. If you want me to hear you, let me know. And then, you know, we can work on that as well individually. So here we go. Here we go. Lock. 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 Okay. Lock. Done. 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 Okay. Done. Soon. 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 Okay. Soon. Wrote. 
Rock. Imagínense que solo es la R. Rock. Road. 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 There we go. Ahora, come. Come. Come in. Todos juntos, come in. Come, come, in. In. come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Now, come on, man is a little bit more, you know, not so professional. <laughs> so be careful on how you use that one. Okay. Next one is own. 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 There we go. You guys got it. Own. 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 Next one is hot. 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 Oh my goodness, it's so hot. Right? It's so hot. Ah. Este teacher que nos pusieron, he's so hot. Oh, yeah. It's teacher, so hot. Teacher hot. <laughs> yeah, hot. Okay, the next one. Who? 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 Imagínense que es un. ¿Cómo se llama el, el tecolote? Tecolote, creo que es, ¿verdad? The owl. El que hace. Who? Who? <laughs> Right? But you don't have to do it so many times. Who? Who did that? Who is in here? Who is going with us? Right? You can you can use it that way. So let's go back one more time. From the beginning. Lock. lock. There we go, Paco. Lock. 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 Y eso es echar llave o echar candado. Uh, lock. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Okay. Lock the door. Done. Done. Ya estuvo, ya terminé. I'm done. I am done. I am done. There we go. Done. You got it. Done. Soon. 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 Are we going soon? Yes. 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 We're going to go soon. Right? I wrote a book. I wrote, I wrote a book. I wrote a book. I wrote a book. You guys can say a book or you can say a book. Okay. And both ways are okay. I wrote a book or you can say I wrote a book. Now, what usually happens is that you can say a book and then you continue the idea with about ghosts, about La Ciguanaba, right? I wrote a book or you can say I wrote a book about La Ciguanaba and you can kind of follow it that way. So both ways is okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, teacher. Come on, teacher. There Come we go. On. There you go. You got it. Come on. Own. Do you own those? Own. Huh? Do you own those shoes? You can say, do you own those shoes? You do could you say, do you own? Do you own that shirt? Or you can just say own. Own. If you're a gamer, hay personas que dicen pon, like pawn. Well, when somebody gets owned, significa que perdió malísimo. Pero por error pusieron una P antes en vez de la O. Entonces, los gamers dicen pawn. Que es la palabra own o para decir owned, past tense también, ¿verdad? Entonces, own. Y ahora, oh my goodness, the weather is so hot. It's so hot. It, it, it's so hot in here. Hot. It's so hot. Oh my goodness, the, la cacerola, it's so hot, right? The so hot. hot. The pot is hot. There we go. You got it, Michael. And then, who? 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 All right. Who? And that's it for the exercise. You can actually finish the exercise here. And what happens, oh. it gives you a little bit of an explanation, right? And so you can say lock and hot. 
You could say own and wrote. Mm -hmm. You could say soon and who. You could say come and done. And these have the same sound and pronunciation. Okay. Now, when it comes to pronunciation, you guys have to think about what word do you want to use. And if you decide to use the word, then you have to make sure that you're using the correct pronunciation, right? Now, these are pretty easy. Lock, right? Did you lock the door? Or it's hot in here. Do you own the bike? Did you, uh, did, did, well, in this particular case, it would be, I wrote. Hey, I wrote that. We're going soon. Who is that? Come in. I am done. If you guys choose to use the words, make sure you guys practice how that sounds. Now, there's a trick that I do, and we did it together, I think, yesterday we did it, right? Remember that we were trying to go with lingui, right? Well, we can use it like this. Uh, we can do lingui. Let me see. Well, it's supposed to be this one. Let me show it to you guys. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I don't know what happened here. Here we go. So there's a trick that I do because sometimes from not using the word, I actually sometimes forget how you actually pronounce it, right? So what I do is I go into Lingui from time to time. And what I try to do is I try to look up the words. And well, let me see here, Lingui. Oh no, it's not working, it's not working. It's not letting me move. I think my internet might not be working full. It's kind of stuck. So what I do, also we can use the Google Translate, right? Uh, let's think of a word, let's see, let's say month. And then so usually the month will tell me what it is. And usually what happens is I can get the word here or month sound. And I can actually kind of just click on that. And I'm, I'm sorry, guys, my, my internet seems to be not be wanting to load stuff. And what happens is that I can go into a word and I can sound it out. You know, sometimes it's a little bit easy. It's just my internet is acting up. So I, I apologize about that. However, you guys are able to go in here. Let's try Lingui again. Let's see if it works now. You type in the word. Good Lord Almighty. And you can, teacher, you can use Cambridge. You can well. use the Cambridge Dictionary? You know what? I, I like that one. I use another one called Webster's as well. Let me see if that one is. Cambridge, you said, right? Cambridge Dictionary? Yes. Cambridge Dictionary. All right. Well, this one's working. All right. And then we said we were going to use month. And there it is. And what, what I do is I play on the little sound. Month. Were you guys able to hear that? Month. Month. Did you guys hear that? Yes. All right, so from here, I'm able to take it and kind of, you know, get it into my vocabulary and then try to sound as close to the sound as possible. Month, right? And then that's what I'm saying. Month, right? And I try to do it as close. So this is something that I also recommend for you guys to do. All right, so we're going to go back to the video. Wrote. Soon. Who? Cafecito. Come. Done. Good job. Well done, well done, everybody. And then we move from there, and then we come to lesson 1.5. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen and practice on a conversation between asking and giving information, all right? Everybody ready for this one? Here we go. Travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair. Sorry about to that, two guys. People. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. 
They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. All right, and then you guys see how it was outlined. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. All right, so it's asking you about three things. Were you guys able to hear what he was asking for? <laughs> do you guys remember what he was asking for? Well, not really. asking about the currency. Yes. He was asking about the current the, the currency in the European Union, right? Then he asked about credit cards. Okay, all right. And then finally, the language. The language. There we go. Okay. All right, we got it. And then from here, once you guys complete the video. We go into the passive voice, but we are not going to use the word buy, which means that we will not be saying honey is made by bees, right? So the exercise has to do with that. And, and let me go ahead and play that for you guys, and then we can review it. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important. So the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure, and because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is R present of B plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. All right, and then so, uh, let me see here. Let me go back a little bit. The present. Here we go. Okay. So these here are the examples of active and passive without using the word by. And as you guys can see, we have simple present, which is present of be plus the past participle. And it sounds like this. We have active they use the euro in most of the European Union. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive voice, the euro is used in most of the EU. And in the following example, they speak English in many European countries. That's active, passive, English is spoken in many European countries. 
going back to active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive, a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. And you guys see how the focus changes from one to the next. Now, another thing to bring up is that we are using this formula. For this particular exercise, we are using is and are, and that is the present of be. In the sentence, you will already see the past participle being used. So whenever you guys see a past participle being used, in this particular case, we're gonna use is or are. Now, why is that important? Because we come to here. This is the knowledge check for 1.9, okay? And what we have to do is we have to turn, well, we have to complete the sentences using the simple present passive form of the verbs in the brackets. So in this particular case, we have grow. Remember that we're using to be plus the past part. Many crops grow in Taiwan. And so we would need to change that. Who has already completed this exercise? Or what do we need to do here? What, what do we need to do with grow? Many crops are, are and we said grown. Oh, sorry, guys. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Because when you say are grown is como cultivado. Si. Si. Okay. That's, that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. Thank you. Many crops, uh, no puede ser many crops is grow in Taiwan. It doesn't sound right. Many crops is grown in Taiwan. Mm. Is grown. Tampoco no se escucha muy bien. Y acuérdense que nosotros estamos ocupando either is or are. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. That one sounds... It's easy on the ear. All right, let's try the next one. Some crops... And then the word to use is consume locally. Consume. Is consumed? Are consumed? What can we use? Are consumed. Are consumed? Or is consumed? Which one sounds better? Let's see, let's try R. Some crops are consumed locally. Some crops is consumed locally. A ver, ¿cómo se escucha is? is. Some crops is consumed locally. ¿Cuál se escuchaba mejor? Algo otra vez. Some crops are consumed locally. All right. Well, that one sounds a little bit better, everybody. Somebody says. Okay. All right. Let's try the next one. Let's see. The word is export. Other crops is. or are, and then we're changing that word. Other. Other crops. Are exported. exported. Are exported. Other crops 
is exported. Do you guys want to leave are exported? Are exported. Are exported. Are exported. All right. Are exported. Okay. All right. Are exported. Are exported. Okay. Rice. And then the word is cultivate in warmer parts. Rice is, is cultivated. Is cultivated is in, warmer, in parts. warmer parts. Does that sound good? You guys want to leave that? Yes. All right. Okay. Number five. A wide, a wide variety of seafood is, what would be the, is catch or caught? Caught. A wide variety of seafood is caught. Okay, let's leave it. It's caught. A wide variety of seafood are catched. Mm. No, that one doesn't sound right. Are caught. Mm. Is catched. Mm. Cut. Is caught. It's all right, all right. Many people, and the word is employ, in the electronic and textile industries. Many people are employed. Are employed. Are employed. Are employed in the electronic and textile industries. Okay. Is employed. Can we say is employed? Does that sound good? Many people is employed in the electronic and textile industries. How does that sound? No. All right. French and English, the word is spoke in Canada. I spoken. Are French and English are spoken in Canada. Okay, all right. Okay. The US make up is the word of 50 states. Is made up. Is, oh, sorry. Is made up of 50 states. Is made up, are made up. The US are made up, no, right? No cuadra, all right. A lot of sheep raised in New Zealand. A lot of sheep. Are... A lot of sheep is raised in New Zealand. A lot of sheep are raised in New Zealand. Uh... It's it's a little bit confused because a sheep doesn't have a nest. Okay. But it says a lot in the, at the beginning. Okay. A lot of sheep. We can already we can we can kind of use that right. It's talking about a lot of sheep without putting the s. Mm, okay. It means that is plural. So we can, okay, let's see. So that means that we would need to use are, right? Yes. A lot of sheep are raised in New Zealand. Okay. And the last one, cars and computers manufacture. I think they misspelled that much. Manufacture. I think, I think they wanted to put manufacture, right? <laughs> Cars and computers is R. or R. R. Um, 
manufactured in Korea. All right, let's go over these and see how do we feel? Do we feel very confident? Do we feel okay? Or do we know that everything is gonna be correct? There's 10 questions. Do you think we're gonna miss one or two? I think oh. everything is right. I, everything is right. Let's try it out. Let's see. And we are submitting. And it's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everything is right. Oh my God. Let me go ahead and take a screenshot of this one. And this is going to be for our friends who were not able to join or kind of help them out. Okay. Kind of like a recap of what we did. Hold on, it doesn't fit on my screen. Hold it, hold it. There we go. All right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, are and is. So let's go back and review real quick. And repeat after me. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Okay. Some crops are consumed locally. Some crops are consumed locally. Okay. Other crops are exported. Other crops are exported. Great. Rice is cultivated <laughs> in warmer parts. Rice, Rice is cultivated in warmer parts. Good. A wide variety of seafood is caught. A wide, A wide variety, variety of seafood is caught. Uh, many people are employed in the electronic and textile industries. Many people, Many people are employed, employed in the electronic and textile industries. There we go. French and English are spoken in Canada. French, French, French and English, English are, are spoken in Canada. In Canada. Okay. The U.S. is made up of 50 states. The U.S. is made up, made up, is made up of, of 50 states. states. A lot of sheep, well, a lot of sheep are raised in New Zealand. A lot of, a lot of sheep are raised, are raised, are raised in, New in New Zealand. In New Zealand. Okay. Cars and computers are manufactured in Korea. Cars and computers are manufactured in Korea. In Korea. There we go. All right, and you guys see how there's a bunch of O's all over the place, but they all sound a little bit different? So keep that in mind as well, because remember, whenever you guys see that O, depending on what you guys are talking about, it's gonna change on how you pronounce that O and how it sounds. So well done, well done, everybody. All right, and then so 1.9, that is the knowledge check. We come into the reading exercise and this one, I am gonna leave it up to you. You guys go into it, go into the platform and do the exercises. Remember, all, it, they tell you what to do, right? They give you the instructions up here and then based on the instructions, you continue and you do the exercise and then you fill out the questions. Okay. All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen, it is 8.55 and I'm gonna give you guys back five minutes of your beautiful, wonderful time so that you guys can rest. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We are gonna go over this exercise tomorrow and then we are gonna go into section 2.0. And 
so tomorrow being Thursday is going to be the end of our week number one, which means that we're going to be pretty much done with actually working from uh, the, the website. We're going to try to mix it up with 50 50 um, with uh, a little bit of the live worksheets and uh, a little bit of the presentations as well so that we can get, you know, a little bit more practice in. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for coming into class. And I want to wish you guys a really good night. Que descansen todos, Thank por favor. Good night, good night, Mr. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hacen muy buenas noches. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.